The 120 square kilometers of land and water that make up Guantanamo Bay have been the source of much controversy. Not only because of the U.S. detention facility located here, but because of the unusual lease from Cuba that's allowed the U.S. Navy to maintain a base here for more than 100 years. Cuba claims the lease is invalid. We spend uh, about $2,500 uh, a year uh, worth in gold. We send them a check every year uh, in the lease. The Castro's have never cashed one, any of those checks on purpose. They've cashed a couple on accident. Fidel actually kept a drawer full of checks to show that he never uh, cashed a check that it, the, try to invalidate the lease and to force us out of here saying that we weren't paying what the, uh, the land was worth. But now uh, we still send it, so we still send the Cuban government the money and we still maintain the naval station here. The 17.5 miles of fence line is all that divides Cuba from the U.S. naval base, which the United States has been leasing from Cuba since 1903. This gate behind me used to open regularly for commuters that were coming in from Cuba to work on the U.S. naval base. However, the last of those commuters retired in 2012. Recently, it's only been used for meetings between the U.S. Naval Station and the Cuban Frontier Brigade. Meetings are rare and security is tight along the border, which according to the U.S. military is still riddled with landmines on the Cuban side. The U.S. relationship with Cuba underwent many changes in 2016, with President Barack Obama working to normalize relations with Havana and making the first visit by a sitting U.S. president in 88 years. Longtime Cuban leader Fidel Castro was always very vocal about his opposition to the U.S. naval base, a sentiment his successor, Brother Raul, shares. Now, a long and complex process begins toward the normalization of relations that will only be achieved with the end of the economic, commercial, and financial blockade and the return to our country of the territory illegally occupied by the Guantanamo naval base. On the U.S. side, life on base looks similar to any small town in America. Neighborhoods, schools, and even a McDonald's sit along the main road. With the passing of Fidel Castro and the election of Donald Trump, it's unclear what direction U.S.-Cuban relations will take. Analysts from both countries know Trump could reverse much of the progress made by Obama. La elección. The election of Trump caused great uncertainty in policies. I'm worried that he may be influenced by his aides and staff because many officials nominated by Trump are anti-Cuba officials. While President-elect Trump has vowed to keep the Guantanamo prison open, he suggested that maybe the terms of the lease be revisited. Maybe in our deal with Cuba, we get them to take it over and take uh, and, and reimburse us because we're probably because we're probably paying rent. For the time being, it's business as usual on the base, but there's no telling what's on the horizon. Yasmin Alamiri, CGTN, Guantanamo Bay, Cuba.